If you're brand new here, hi. My name is Adigrim Rock DJ. I'm a Kenyan rock DJ. Professional rock DJ here in Kenya for about uh, seven years. This is my second channel. It's called Adigrim Movie Reactions. Where I can check out movies, TV shows, trailers, series, the that type of stuff. Today I'm going to be checking out a movie that probably was very popular when I was a child. I can't remember anything other than maybe he was a cyborg cop, maybe. I must have maybe seen it on TV once, but I cannot remember a single thing. So anyway, uh, this is Robocop 1987. I mean, I was born 93, so... <laughs> you know, like, probably if I was seeing this on TV, I must have like looked at it and be like, Bleh. Anyway, uh, make, make sure to smash like and subscribe if you're brand new here. And uh, this was also a Patreon request, so I'll leave the link for Patreon in the description section. If you become a Patreon, you'll be able to dictate which movie I see next. And then uh, I do commentaries, so I expect me to talk a lot. And without further ado, let's go. Top story, Pretoria. The threat of nuclear conflict. Can clearly tell that the that the camera quality is from the 80s completely. Sieged city state unveiled a French-made neutron bomb. President's first press conference from the Star Wars orbiting peace platform got off to a shaky start when power failed. Did she just say Star Wars orbiting platform? <laughs> Not now. You did get a cup of coffee. I don't know why, but seeing the black cop talking to this white guy reminds me of Seven. Have you watched Seven with uh, Morgan Freeman and Brad Pitt? A black cop, white cop. <laughs> I've read a tweet, it's on the channel. Surprise! What a bunch of morons! We're police officers. And police officers don't strike. And police officers don't strike? Murphy, front and center. I'm pretty sure in Kenya, we've never had a police officer striking. Pretty sure you had. Or is he saying that it's not, it's not popular for cops in the 80s to strike? I don't know. Maybe you can clarify for me in the comments. This guy's going to be your new partner. Murphy, meet Lewis. Show him the neighborhood. Glad to know you, Murphy. Pretty neat. Are you talking about her looks? Oh, how she was handling that suspect. We drive her and break in on your partner. In six months, we begin construction of Delta City. Wow, look at, look at that model, God. <clears throat> Generally speaking, when I clicked on this, I did not, I thought, I thought they would just show us like an origin story of Robocop. I didn't think they'd be all this. Like a board meeting, I didn't expect that. All long shifts in the tax structure have created an economy ideal for corporate growth. Fellow executives, it gives me great pleasure to introduce you to the future of law enforcement. Oh, so these guys are the ones who have the, like, the cyborg technology. Oh my God. Oh nine. I don't know, I thought it would be like... Oh my, I thought it would be like, more human looking, you know. Uh, don't you think that if you're going to have... Don't you think if you're going to have a police officer that doesn't eat, breathe, sleep, or need to, s whatever, doesn't need to rest, that you don't think that they need to run quickly after the... Series 209. Thugs. Self-sufficient law enforcement robot. Please put down your weapon. You have 20 seconds to comply. I think you'd better do what he says, Mr. Kenny. You now have 15 seconds to comply. You are in direct. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ah. Uh, 
I would be traumatized for life. Somebody want to call a goddamn paramedic? Let's go! What do you mean paramedic? He's dead. He's dead. There's no way he survived that. I'm sure it's only a glitch. <laughs> I thought he was going to say, I thought he was going to say, it's only a flesh wound. I thought that's what you were going to say. Construction in six months. Your temporary setback could cost us $50 million in interest payments alone. Not necessarily. You, you burned the fucking money! I had to blow the door. What do you want? It's as good as Mark, you asshole. You stupid, stupid asshole. That is incredibly funny. You break into a safe, you blow it up, and then it burns the money. That's so funny. Literally, literally brings new meaning to crime doesn't pay. <laughs> crime doesn't pay. Oh, what are you crazy, man? Shut the fuck up and do it! Just do it! Can you fly, Bobby? Come on, They're about to throw him out because he got shot? Seriously, they're just going to throw him out like that? Oh. There is no honor among thieves. I mean, yeah, he's a thug, and I'm not supposed and I'm not supposed to feel empathy for him, but like he just got disposed, like he's trash, you know. Oh, surely, surely. Oh, okay. Let's see those hands, nice and easy. Sure. Mind if I zip this up? <laughs> he'll pull the he'll pull a gun from his fly. I would be so oh. Put your hands on your head, Lewis. Oh boy. Literal blood money. Who is this guy? Why does he look so familiar? This actor is so familiar. She was sweet. Mm. Mm -hmm. I took her out. <laughs> Why does he laugh like that, though? See, I got this problem. Cops don't. This guy looks like Bill Burr, right? So I don't like cops. Come on, don't shoot him. <laughs> this guy looks like Bill Burr, right? Co comment below and tell me if I'm wrong. He looks like Bill Burr. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> well, give the man a hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That was super graphic. Jeez. Oh boy. <laughs> These fellas are vindictive. Jesus Christ. Except just shooting him once he dies. They insist on doing it this slow method. Oh, oh I think I spoke too soon. I actually thought they were going to shoot him, then leave him to die. Wait, isn't this like his first day on the job or something? God. So brutal. The only time I've ever seen anyone survive a shot to the head is in Kill Bill. <laughs> yeah, is in Kill Bill. And that one time in Men Black where they shot an alien, but that was an alien. The only time I've seen a human survive a shot to the head is Kill Bill, which I've reacted to on the channel. And I hope you smash like and subscribe for more great reactions. I try to upload daily. So he actually died, like medically, he was pronounced dead. We can do pretty much what we want to. Lose the arm. Shut him down, prep him for surgery. Doesn't he have like, he, I thought, he, I thought they just, he said earlier on in the movie that, he said earlier on in the movie that he has a kid, meaning that he has a wife. Wouldn't they like, want to know what happened to the body or something?
now that I think about it, there is Robocop, like one, two, three, it's a trilogy, right? I don't know which one I watched as a kid, just so you know. Everything to me now just seems fresh, completely. Like I've never seen this, all I know that it's about a cyborg cop. I'm trying to see if I can recollect anything, I, can't, I genuinely can't. His digestive system is extremely simple. This process of dispense is a rudimentary paste that sustains his organic system. Tastes like baby food. How would he know how baby food tastes like if he has not eaten it before? <laughs> I, would ex I would understand a mom knowing how baby food tastes like, but how does a grown man know how baby food tastes like? Protect the innocent, uphold the law. It reminds me heavily of Judge Dredd. You've watched Judge Dredd? There's two Judge Dredds, I think from 1995 and one from 2012. I've watched the first one, not the second one. If you've watched Judge Dredd, tell me, comment below. I was actually about to ask, why is this chick being so, I don't know, her reaction is not what I expected it to be, knowing that her, or maybe she doesn't know that it's her former partner, maybe she doesn't know that it's her former partner who is a cyborg now. Go get him, boy. Drop the gun, you are under arrest. I'm assuming he's bulletproof. Yeah. Nice, that was so... Oh, that was so Dark Knight Rises, you know. Wait, did did you did you take him out and then just leave him there? Should have arrested him. Sick. That part where he puts the gun looks so cool. Oh, bro, you shot in between her legs. That was so good. It, I think the question that I want to ask the most is how much of human is there left in the Robocop? People jerk me off. Nice. It's kind of like, uh, kind of like Alien vs Predator, right? Sort of, kind of. Who get serious now? I kiss the mayor's ass goodbye. Oh, damn. Oh. Why is no one paying attention to this? God damn! <clears throat> he looks like he's having a seizure because of bad memories. Hey, what was that? Reminds me so much of like the Winter Soldier from like the MCU. He's leaving for a revenge mission. I wonder if seeing his old partner is going to like reignite any memories or anything. I haven't really had a chance to introduce myself. I'm Ann Lewis. Oh my god, he's about to rob this place. He's just rolling up to you the gun. Sup, bro? Give me all your money, bookworm, or I yep. blow your brains out. That are alive, you are coming with me. Oh, he knows that line. He knows that line. Yep. Yeah. Oh my, oh my god, you need to run, run! That is such a cool shot though. That is such a, finally, someone who shoots the tires, finally. Typically cops would like try and shoot the body of the vehicle or the suspect. I'm like, shoot the tires. 
Oh, his memory is completely wiped out. So these are like subconscious memories coming to the top of his mind. Eh? That was a sick shot. That that shot of him walking away from the fire. That was so cool. Did nobody do a, like a follow up on where the body went? Did nobody like attend a funeral or something? Like there's so many follow up questions I have. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, that's him. In the dark, he looks a bit different. Oh my God, how? Oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? 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 Why, why would you decide to kick? A metal cop in the nuts. Why? Have you ever like hit your small toe on like a stone? Yeah? I'm assuming the same level of pain. You know who I am? And do you think you're gonna get away with this again? Oh! God damn it! Ah! Damn! Shoot first, ask questions later, huh? Please, please don't. Bill Burr over here is ruthless. For a second there, I thought Bill Burr over here had uh, was working with this guy so that this guy ordered Bill Burr to like shoot Robocop so that he could get his body and turn him into the cyborg that he is right now. I thought that's what was about to happen. It helps if you think of it as a game. But then now, you know, by him becoming Robocop, now he's hunting them so he feels betrayed so he comes to shoot him. I thought that's what would be happening. I didn't think it was a direct... Hit from arrival. Poor guy. Damn. Oh, that is how you make an entrance. Big bad wolf will huff and puff and blow your door down. Come quietly, or there will be trouble. Come quietly. <laughs> you. Finally, all that shooting practice he was doing on Leon works. Pans out for him nicely. With multiple targets. Oh, nice. Without even looking. Oh. I wonder if there's anyone who tries to shoot Robocop in the mouth. <laughs> You have the right to an attorney? What is this shit? <laughs> I'm protected, I'm protected. He throws him through the window. Listen to me! Listen to me, you fuck! There's another guy! He's a he's OCP, he's the senior president! I am a cop. Just slap him in the face, knock him out, and then carry him with you. You are under arrest. Oh. On what charge? Aiding and abetting a known felon. Sounds like I'm in a lot of trouble. You better take me in. I will. Whoa. Oh. I'm sorry. What's happening? There's a programming that doesn't allow him to arrest the owner or something. Kind of reminds me of like Black Widow. Black Widow, when they try to like harm the owner of the Black Widow program, they can't. I thought he just said that trying to arrest a senior officer of OCP leads to the shutdown of Robocop. Why isn't Robocop shut down? <laughs> he just said it right now. Don't tell me this huge thing can't use stairs. <laughs> it doesn't have the cognitive ability to use stairs. <laughs> That's quite funny. That's quite funny. <laughs> That's quite funny. Fire oh no. What is wrong with these people? <laughs> they just said we have we have orders to destroy it. They are forgetting or maybe they don't know that there's a person there. Oh, that Bill Burr criminal said that 
Dick, whoever runs the cops, so they're just following his directive, huh? Without, without even questioning. So sad. Murphy! Murphy, it's me! You may not like what you're going to see. Oh, this is iconic. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever seen Robocop take off his helmet. Oh, wow. He's what? He's human face, but the back side of his head is just machine, machine, machine. Like Terminator vibes, huh? Well, after the funeral. Oh, so there was a funeral. Oh, okay. So there was a funeral. I was like, where did the... Nobody ever thought that... No, nobody ever thought to do a follow-up on the body. Oh, there's rampant vandalism because the cops are on strike. Damn! The cops strike just for like five minutes. And the entire town is in Arnaki. I hope you've smashed like, by the way. And subscribed. A Robocop will come for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll send him. If you don't subscribe. <laughs> Watch this. Wait a minute, wait, Clarence! Clarence! Oh, damn! I thought it would be like armor piercing. But it's like an RPG gun. <laughs> Jesus Christ, they don't even wait to see if the target is there, they just shoot. I'm surprised none of them are like spooked out that he doesn't have his like visor on. Seeing that human face attached to a mechanical body. That is an unpleasant way to die, God. In toxic waste. Ew. Oh my god, he looks like he's turning into like Gollum from Lord of the Rings or something. Yes, yes, my precious. Oh my god, that was one graphic death. You hit him, it he like burst like a paper bag full of soup. Oh no! Bye bye, baby. No, she has bulletproof, I mean. Oh no. That, that can't have killed him. Do it. Yep. Wonderful. God damn. Oh my god. Wait, does he even have a heart? Or it's just some CPU? Oh, wonderful. Oh, so you do. He still does have a. So he still. Huh? So he still has like a human body, right? Where did the blood come from? Did it come from the guy's neck or Murphy's chest? Maybe I'll go back and rewatch that. Because it looked like when he stabbed him in the chest. It... That thing is a violent mechanical psychopath. My program will not allow me to act against an officer of this company. These are serious charges. What is your evidence? Uh, he has tape in his mind that, you know, plays and stuff. I had to kill Bob Morton because he made a mistake. Time to erase that mistake. What are you gonna do? Jump through a window? <gasps> Whoa, okay. Now! 
Didn't expect that. You're fired! Thank you. Oh, okay. Nice. Just by firing him, it removes the directive. The effects in this movie suffer a, a bit, a bit. Like when he was falling out the window, uh, it looks a bit rough. Murphy. And then those those bipedal robots. Oh, finally it comes to an end. Those large bipedal robots, the ones that 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 uh, you know, like like the one that shot that dude in the office in the beginning. If you can tell me how that was made. <laughs> Yeah, like, I know that's not CGI, and if it's CGI, it's quite rough, yeah. But uh, that, regardless of the effects being, you know, a tad dated, quite a good movie. I really like it. Like, I don't know. The only thing I remembered about Robocop from being a kid is he was a cyborg. That was literally it. Other than that, the details of his, you know, how he became, his origin story, blah, 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 blah. blah. Also, like I said, I don't know which one I watched. I don't know if it was one, two, or three. Yeah, but uh, other than that, uh, I don't know. I, when I when I clicked on it, I thought that it would be a story of like you've watched Justice. Was it Justice League? There's a uh, there's a cyborg there, right? You saw the, that dude became a cyborg. I thought that's how Robocop would have like the same story. But anyway, if you enjoyed my reaction, make sure to smash like and subscribe. Um, as I said, I'll leave a link for Patreon in the description section. If you become a Patreon, you can be able to detect the movie I see next. Also on Patreon, you can be able to find exclusives that are not on YouTube, part two that I was not able to upload on YouTube, maybe because of copyright or because of blocks. And then uh, sometimes I also have exclusives that are specifically for Patreon, like uh, Fight Club, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Yeah, I even have animations there on Patreon. So, um, yeah, thanks so much for watching and then I'll see you in the next one.